In this video, we're going to cover how to set up the Fluke 435 for trending. We'll hit our menu to see all of our tests. The 435 trends for all of these tests at a rate of five readings per second, with the exception of dips and swells, where we do 120 readings per second to give you a half cycle resolution. We will see a lot more information recorded, though, in a harmonics recording versus volts, amps, hertz. Let's highlight harmonics and press OK to start the test. I'm going to immediately stop this test with the hold run button, F5, say discard and restart. Now I have the option to do a timed test. This is very helpful for determining file size when I'm doing trending. Right now, with the default 10 second interval, we could record for 182 days. That would create an 8 gigabyte file, much too large to deal with effectively with um, PowerLog software. We need smaller file sizes. Even though we're set right now for a duration of seven days. So it's not a bad setting here. But if we decrease that time to as little as one second, now we've dropped down to an 18 day test. So a seven day test would be about a third of that eight gig or a very large file at that point. So we encourage you to keep your intervals at 10 seconds if possible. If you need time resolution to know when things happen down to the second, you can do so for a short period of time. But keep in mind, you'll create a large file size. The other thing to keep in mind is that in all of our tests, we'll always have the event capture active to capture things that are happening in very brief periods of time. And that's how we configure the Fluke 435 for trend configuration.